Welcome to Petrified Forest, Fort Bowie, Hirakawa. We finally made it to Ironwood Forest. Welcome to Saguaro National Park. We're here at Casa Grande. Before the train gets here, we want to welcome you to the Sonoran Desert. This is our eighth and final park. Welcome to Oregon Pipe. miles from Oregon Pipe Cactus. This is the last outpost. The town's name is called Y. W-H-Y. <laughs> Not really, most people are coming back. Oh boy. All right, this is our last stop before we hit Oregon Pipe. This is the last area of civilization. So we are so desperate, basically, gas station sandwiches, hot dogs. Allie, what do you have? Um, I have ramen noodles, so I have steak plain, like this. <laughs> mm. And you also have? I have that and some noodles. Can I show you? Healthy, delicious lunch. Shane, what do you have? Crackers, some goldfish, some beef jerky, some coffee, 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 coffee. Wow, that's a boy's dream right there. <laughs> <laughs> Saguaro cacti. Here's an example of what they look like inside. When they die, the outside deteriorates, and all you have left is this wooden, spiny structure that holds it all in place. People always ask me if I have a, a cameraman that follows us behind on all these trips, and I don't, it's just us. But I put my camera on a tripod, I film us going by, then I run back, as you can imagine, and pick up the camera every time. Here's some footage of the back side of me grabbing the camera that you never get to see in my, my videos. sites and if you look at some websites many people will designate this the most dangerous national park in the United States reason being is there's illegal immigration there's drug smuggling because we are in Arizona but right on the border of Mexico talking with the forest ranger earlier in the day he said it's really a perspective of whether or not you want to call this the most dangerous national park. Yes, one of the rangers did die, a guy by the name of Chris Egley. As a matter of fact, the visitor center is named after him. In a run-in with some people that committed a robbery, I believe, down in Mexico. But as far as the most dangerous, beyond that, no one was ever killed here. Beyond that, uh, no one was ever seriously hurt. So you compare that to how many people have fallen off Angel's Landing in Zion, People have died in the Grand Canyon, injuries of people hiking up the Half Dome in Yosemite. So in many ways, it's not the most dangerous. As a matter of fact, when we came here back in 2000, 
and 12. Half the park was closed off, but now they reopened it. So the entire park is all accessible to those who come and want to enjoy themselves at Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. All right, Natalie, why don't you sign us out? Good hike, everybody. Nice job. Way to go, Mom. Thanks. All right, let's pose for a quick family picture. All right, thank you. Just ready for some warm water on the car. <laughs> now, Shane, are we doing better now? He was okay, now he was crying about 30 seconds ago, hysterically, because he's out of fingernail. Let's see the fingernail. Okay. Ouch. Oh wow, the crack just disappeared. <laughs> Mom, you're, you're like a magician, Mom. How'd you do that? Wet wipes. Wow. No wonder Mom's your best friend, Shane. <laughs> well, about two minutes ago, he was scared he had a cracked tooth and a cracked fingernail. Okay, that's pretty traumatic for an eight-year-old. We are back in the car. One reason is because we just want to sit in a cool car with the air conditioner. Another reason is we're going further south down to the border. You take a look at the wall. Pull over right here. All right, this is as far as we're going. There is the checkpoint in New Mexico right there. There's a little gas station here. We're gonna go inside, That's it. get some snacks. That's this it. is all there is in the town of Luke. You cannot get any further south in the United States in the state of Arizona than where we are right now. This is it. Lukeville, Arizona. Got some Mexican candies here for you. That looks spicy. That looks okay. That looks disgusting. Okay, here's my treat of choice. According to Natalie, it's the last thing she would have picked in the whole store. There's a lot of talk in our country nowadays about Trump building the wall. Most of the border that uh, parallels the southern part of the United States does not have a wall. Uh, there is a wall right here. That's, that's Mexico right on the other side of that little tiny piece of barbed wire. Uh, obviously this wall will not keep anyone out from coming into the United States. This wall was built a number of years back just to keep the vehicles from entering the national park right here. But as far as people crossing the wall, this thing is absolutely meaningless. All I have to say is I'm glad I grew up on this side of the wall. I'm proud to be an American. Woohoo! Go USA! Woohoo! What I like to live in the USA in the This campsite has like two canopies. This is going to be interesting. We beat this guy to this site and we have our tag right on the post. He's looking at, oh, look at the post. Want me to tell him? Yeah, tell him we got that site. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, we just got that site. Sorry. Yeah, it's a good one. It's ours. <laughs> yeah, no problem. No problem. I, I'm... He wanted that site, didn't he, huh? As far as I can see, there's only one other person at this campsite besides us, right there. As the ranger would say, this is technically the beginning of their off season. So you guys know coming from New Jersey, this is the beginning of our beach season pretty soon. But out here in Southern Arizona, it starts getting really hot. And this is technically now the start of the off season. So really nobody out today except for us and one other camper and one other guy that tried to take our campsite, but we caught him just in the nick of time, thanks to Julie. You gave that guy a piece of your mind, didn't you, huh? He wasn't about to take your campsite on you, was he? Ooh, you even got out of the car. Oh, All right, well, it's gotten warmer. I think every night we've camped out, although I think it might drop down 
to a freezing 57 degrees. But we can live with 57, right, Natalie? Yeah. That's not too bad. A lot better than how it was at Chiricahua. How you doing down there, Shane? Man, you're working hard. Oh, you're not. You're not doing anything down there. This location has the largest concentration of organ pipe cacti found anywhere in the United States. Just like this beauty right here at the campsite. So in order to preserve them, our government has created organ pipe cactus national monument. What a joy it was to experience eight incredible national sites on this seven day vacation. Flying home tomorrow morning, but for now I leave you with the beautiful sunset that we got to enjoy in our final night together. It's four something in the morning and it's time to say goodbye to a good friend. This tent and I have been together for at least 40 of the 59 national parks. And today, we're putting it to rest here at Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. This is the way we like it. Here we are on the way to the Phoenix Airport, 7.45 in the morning, right in the middle of rush hour. Need to catch our plane, and to make it more exciting, we're on E. Running out of gas. How you doing, Julie? I'm fine.